Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, refresh our souls and renew our spirits in the gift of your word and the time we share in that word. Lord, we pray for our understanding more than my words, but Lord, the taking in of the perspectives and the and the experience of, of our lives together and in discussion, Lord, as you make us to be your church. Lord, help us to be honest and open and authentic in our faith enough to say what we're struggling with, to speak honestly about what we don't understand. Lord, it is you who is all-knowing. You are aware of all our comings and goings, our strengths and our failings. And Lord, you know when we mistake one for the other. Help us to know right from wrong, to discern in your word a path for this day, for this time in our life, and to understand what we've been through in a better way. Lord, we pray for the blessings that people need around us. We pray, pray for the poor and their struggles, especially as we come to a time of year when, when young families who rely so deeply on, on the resources provided through schools are, are facing the challenge of what do we do to provide for our struggling family over these summer months. Lord, make communities aware. Lord, make agencies aware. Lord, make individuals, neighbors aware of how to love their neighbor. And Lord, grant us your peace because whether it's within our household or within our community or throughout our region or around the world, there are many places that are struggling to have peace, to know peace, to celebrate peace. And so we pray, Lord, for your peace to be upon us, to be upon our time together in your word and to, and to resonate from that time into how we will go about our lives and how we will seek to serve and glorify you. Lord, this we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. And looking at Scripture today, we look to Isaiah in, in chapter 43 at verse 19. And it reads, oh, excuse me. It reads, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. And rivers in the desert. Well, you can see the weather out there is making a few rivers today. But it's not always so. And there's a lot of regions that are facing droughts and are worried about forest fires or are facing forest fires. And so we pray for and, and keep in mind those that are in real need of a rain like this. And I know gardens that are getting ready to go that celebrate a good solid rain. But... More than rejoicing in the, in the rains of spring, what God is offering, what the, what the prophet Isaiah is celebrating, is that in the midst of a time of trouble and struggle, sometimes we need a new way. But doing things a new way, changing things for change's sake, is not always a great thing or a good thing. So finding that balance, trying to understand and discern that the Lord is doing a new thing, that the Lord is calling us to a new thing. And maybe that's the understanding of something like how we do church or, and I'm not just talking about contemporary music, but what it means to be the church and be recognized as the church. What is this new thing that God is calling us to do today that in the face of the chaos of society and the corruption of society and the lack of morality all around us and the misunderstanding of ethics and the walking away from God's word and the guidance from God's word, in, when we live in such a day and age, what is the new thing that God is doing that not just is going to bring us back, and this is not about going back to the way things were, but bringing us forward to where the river flows in God's eternal grace, even in the desert of our own sin. Finding that and understanding what God is doing is, is it's a prayerful thing. It's it's a it's a, a time to study God's word. It is a time to really engage those who are in authority and say, now, where are your ideas coming from and who do they serve? Do they serve the Lord? And if they don't, why are we doing them? 
And may God's blessing be upon you as you seek for a, a, a life and a journey right now that is, that is glorifying God. God bless you. Amen.